Internet coming to you from the Beehive. Today I'm going to show you how to make this adorable acorny kiss tent using the acorny thank you stamp set and the acorn builder punch. Yesterday I showed you how to make this cute little pumpkin kiss tent and then stay tuned tomorrow because I'll show you how to make some Christmas kiss tents. So let me show you how to make these acorny kiss tents. To start off with, you're going to need a piece of fall colored cardstock, and I'm using delightful Dijon cardstock here. And I've cut this piece to four inches by three and a quarter inches. And I have my Simply Scored scoring tool here. And we are just gonna put the long side up at the top and score at the one inch mark, the two inch mark, and the three inch mark. Put your scoring tool aside. And now I'm going to bend the cardstock along all the score lines. And then I'm going to take Tombow and I'm going to put it on one of the scored ends or one of the scored end segments. I'm going to make sure that I in particular go all the way around the edge. Make sure I have a good seal. And then I'm just going to hold this for a few seconds to make sure the glue and the cardstock are meshing. And then you can set that aside. Then you're going to take a piece of crumb cake cardstock and the acorn builder punch. And I'm just going to punch out two of the big full acorns out of this piece of cardstock. And then I'm also going to take a piece of Delightful Dijon and I'm going to punch two of the caps out. Okay. And then we need to stamp our little caps. But first of all, let's make sure that, two, that our pieces are facing the opposite direction because when we bring them together we want the curve of the little stems to match up. So you're going to have one facing one way and the other one facing the other way. And you're also going to make sure that you have the caps matching and facing the same direction. Then I'm going to take my delightful Dijon ink pad and I'm going to take the cap I'm going to use this one with the polka dots here and I'm going to ink this up. Now this stem has a slight curve but it's a lot narrower or a lot smaller than the curve of the punch. So you can actually use this to stamp on both sides of the cap. So I'm just going to, because it's a see-through photopolymer stamp, I'm just going to line it up with my cap and then once I've got it centered I'm just going to stamp down. And if this isn't, I just want to show you, um, I didn't get this perfectly centered, but once we sponge it, you won't even know. So just go ahead and just do the best that you can to get it centered on here. And I am a little bit out of, um, I'm, I'm not quite positioned properly so I can see exactly where I'm stamping. This one was a little better than the other one, but like I said, it will not matter because we are going to Actually, I still need my ink pad. I'm going to take my sponge dauber and use this. I've designated the sponge dauber for Delightful Dijon ink. And I'm just gonna go ahead and sponge the edges deeply with the ink. So you won't actually see the line where the stamp ends because that's going to be obliterated by the ink but you'll still be able to see the cute little polka dot pattern on the inside. So you can kind of eliminate the problem of not being perfectly centered by doing this sponging. And I'm also gonna do the stem. Make sure that's nice and deep. And that looks pretty good. And now I'm going to also sponge my bases in crumb cake. 
ink. And I've got another sponge dauber designated just for crumb cake ink. I'm just going to go around the edges because I've done, I've looked at it both ways and I really like these acorns sponge. They look a lot cuter. Okay, and then you're just going to need some Tombow and put it on each of the caps. Make sure, I'm gonna put a little bit on the, the stem too. Make sure you line them up with the right side because that little stem, tissue to get rid of the excess glue, that stem does curve, so you wanna make sure that you're matching the correct cap up with the correct base like that. Okay, and then we are going to take one of the acorns and I'm going to put a little tombow right near the top, not completely where the cap um, is. We wanna make sure that this is going to come over top of the tent and cover it completely down to the bottom because it's long enough. So I'm just doing that upper portion and then I'm going to take my other acorn and match it up so that they're back to back. Make sure that's lined up well. And then I stick my thumb right on that portion I just glued and I'm just going to bend up my acorn on either side of that glued portion to kind of get it ready for the tent. And then we just need a kiss and we're gonna slide it into this little tent that we made earlier, like that. Make sure it's centered nicely. And when we put glue on these two slopes, we're gonna remember it's going to, there's gonna be a little bit of the tent peeking out on both sides. So we're just gonna put glue down the center kind of in a triangle, but the glue coming down the center just kind of comes to a point. So we're gonna do the same on the other side, making sure that we don't put too much glue there because the acorn is not, doesn't have any contact with those um, ends. So then we just take our little acorn cover and stick it on there and make sure you look at both sides to make sure it looks good and it's centered properly. And then you can just kind of press down and make sure you've got a good seal. And there you go, you've got a little acorny kiss tent. And I think this would look really cute on a Thanksgiving table. And maybe you could even have a little tag or something with the person's name coming out, a little banner or something coming out the top or the side um, saying, you know, who's going to be sitting there. And you could um, make up a bunch of these and put them at everyone's place setting. And I just did them in all different colors. Um, if you notice, I matched my the cardstock and ink that I used on the cap with um, the color that I used on the base so that the acorn stands out with a little bit of contrast down here at the bottom. All the supplies you'll need to make these acorny kiss tents are available for purchase on my blog. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Bye for now!